Hello everyone, welcome to DIY Beauty on Purpose. Today I am bringing you three projects with a 4th of July Independence Day theme. And I just recently did a red, white, and blue theme. So uh, if you've seen that video, you know that I'm kind of liking the farmhouse distress tone in my 4th of July decorations this year. So I'm going to have similar look with these projects because I want them all to kind of match and be cohesive in my home. So I am starting with this Dollar Tree USA tag. I removed the little stars that it had and I put them to the side because I'm gonna use them later on. And um, although I'm going to be painting the opposite side of the tag, I did decide to remove the glitter because that way it's not spreading glitter all over my, <laughs> my living room. But um, I turned it around and now I am going to give it two coats of rust chalk paint and the linen white. After the paint was fully dry, I am going to be distressing it using Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the country gray and my chippy brush and I'm just going to dry brush very lightly up and down in the same direction to give it an effect that it is distressed. I did go a little heavy there on the bottom <laughs> but I left it because sometimes that's how distressed things are. It's not a pattern, it's just distressed. This dried pretty quickly because it is just dry brushed so um, I put it to the side and now I'm going to be working on what's going to go on top of the tag. This USA decor was also from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to remove or remove the letters from the ribbon but we'll put that to the side because we, work, we will be using that in a little bit. And again I am going to remove the glitter. Someone, someone suggested that I could always paint over the glitter and it just gives it, te gives it texture and I really considered it. But I just, I, I don't want to um, put glitter back in the paint and so I'm just going to uh, remove as much as I can using a sandpaper. This is a 120 grit and uh, just dust it very well on all of them. Alright, so now I am going to use a sponge brush and I am going to paint them. I am using Rust-Oleum chalk paint. I'm going to use the Coastal Blue, which is the one I'm using here. For the U, I'm going to use a Farmhouse Red and for the White, White Linen or Linen White <laughs> and all by Rust-Oleum. Um, the nice thing about these chalk paints is that they have really good coverage and they distress well. Now this, in this particular um, situation, I'm not going to use a sanding um, or a sandpaper to distress. I'm going to paint distress. But if you're ever looking for an inexpensive chalk paint to use either for home decor or furniture, Rust-Oleum is my go-to paint all the time. All right, so I'm here again. I am just going to do the distress technique using the using the chippy brush, and I am going to keep it all trying to keep it all going towards the same direction. And I'm going to do the same with the U and the A. You can see the stars a little bit, and I thought about doing. A second coat but you know what I didn't mind at all so I kept it and once that was dry I am now going to kind of dry fit the letters on the tag kind of looking for the best uh, placement for them and then I'm going to secure them with hot glue I decided to add some greenery to the top and I'm just going to cut a couple of the branches from this greenery bundle that I have had for so long and have used for so many projects. And I'm going to secure it with hot glue but I'm just going to keep it simple, just a, a branch going each way and securing it with hot glue over the hole there. And then I'm going to use the ribbon that the letters came on and I'm going to cut the little bow from, from the bottom 
and I'm going to make a simple bow. So basically what I'm going to do is loop and then I take the top and bring it out to the middle and then scrunch it and that's it. I secure it with the jute twine that came with the tag and then make a just secure it with a knot. Cut the excess jute twine. I'm also going to make little legs for um, the for the ribbon and then I'm going to secure the bow to the top of the tag as well using hot glue. I had this extra ribbon from my last farmhouse red, white, and blue decor, and so I thought I'd use it to place it on the back, and that way I can hang it from this if I do decide to hang in my decorations. And there you have it. Look how cute this is. I mean, it just has the Independence Day red, white, and blue theme with the farmhouse charm. And it goes perfect with the decorations that I made um, in my other video. And I can't wait to put it up in my home. Alright, for my second project, I'm going to take this star from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove the tag from the back and I'm going to give it two coats of rust -Oleum white or chalk paint and the linen. Once the two coats were fully dry, I am now going to use the same technique to distress this star using the Rust-Oleum chalk paint and the Country Gray in my chippy brush. Again, three things to remember when you when you're using this technique is to have very little paint on your brush. The strokes need to be very very light, so no pressure at all. And then my advice is to keep the strokes going on the same direction for a very very nice distressed look. And because it's dry brushed, so very little paint, it does dry very quickly. So I was able to quickly go ahead and move on to my next step, which was framing the entire star using nautical rope from the Dollar Tree, and I secured it with hot glue. I also want to share with you while I'm doing this trim that I have some very exciting news. I now have a second channel called Beauty on Purpose at Home where I will be sharing with you cleaning um, inspiration, organization tips, and decorating. I'm going to be using the DIYs that I, use, that I create on this channel to then uh, decorate my home and I'd love for you to go and check it out. There's not a video yet. It's very new. As a matter of fact, the first video is coming out this week and I'll be decorating for Independence Day, which I'll be using these decorations to decorate. So I hope you check out the link down below. Again, like I said, no video yet, but the first one's coming out. So if you love to subscribe, I'd love to have you and connect there with you as well. All right, so I clipped the little corners from the star that I could not get the rope in that specific angle using my wire cutters. And um, now I am just placing it on this wreath. This wreath I have used so many times. <laughs> um, I removed some florals that I had on them from, from an old uh, decor that I had. And now I'm dry fitting the star and the greenery that I'm gonna use. And this scarf I got at the Dollar Tree as well. I'm just going to make a very flimsy bow and that's what I'm going to use to use as a ribbon kind of and um, again I'm just dry fitting right now and then once I have everything where I think I want then I'm going to secure with hot glue and let me tell you the hardest part of this DIY was getting that star to stick <laughs> I was adding hot glue I was trying to figure it out and I didn't want to add wires to the front or anything so I, I had a hard time but I finally got it to stick so I was happy with that.
I also want to tell you about my very new blog that I have not, I have had now for a couple of months or I've been posting for a couple of months and it's at DIYBeautyOnPurpose.com and basically I'll be posting monthly blogs on my favorite things, my top uh, list of um, so you know like decorating tips and things like that so I just wanted uh, to let you know about that as well if you want to go there I have the link in the description box down below and would love to connect with you there as well. So now I'm just finalizing where I'm going to place the greenery here. And as I'm finalizing things, I'm realizing that there's still something missing, and but I'm, I don't know quite it. So I think it's like the star, something needs to be on it. And I thought about maybe creating or cutting using my Cricut, like a little sign or something. But then I found this in God We Trust, little, like a little sign. It was from a Dollar Tree decor that I used for my last uh, red, white, and blue video. And I kept it and I thought it would be super cute. So I removed the hanging little wire thing and then the chain. And I'm just going to secure it here with hot glue. And I thought that was exactly what it needed. So I'm very happy that I kept it because I thought it was a perfect size for this, uh, for this star. And then once that's done, I'll be done with this one. And there it is. This is probably one of the simplest wreaths I have ever created, but I actually love it. It is has like a farmhouse slash rustic. I don't know. I just really like it and it's going to go on my front door and I'm excited to put it on there. And again, if you want to see how it looks, um, you can check it out in my other channel, Beauty on Purpose at Home, that the first video is coming out this week. All right, so guys, for my third and final project, I am using these blocks that I, ha I have had since Christmas. I DIY'd them. I cut a four by four into three different sizes blocks. I painted them with chalk paint and distressed them. And um, I have had them since Christmas, just plain like this, nothing on them. And I thought they were a perfect size and perfect look to create um, firecrackers like. So I'm sure you've seen this with other DIYers and on Pinterest it's everywhere and I thought I'd love to create something like that for my own Independence Day decorations and I thought these blocks were perfect for it. So I am using the taller one and I'm making stripes so this will be the red and white stripes so I'm just going to use the Rust-Oleum Farmhouse Red chalk paint and using the sponge brush I am going to give it a very rough one coat on the stripes and when I mean rough I mean it's not going to be fully covered at all because I'm going to heavily distress these blocks. And the medium sized one is going to be in the coastal blue. And again, I'm going to give it a very, very rough one coat because once again, I'm going to be distressing them quite a bit. Now I'm going to remove the tape, as you can see. And I did get very, very little bleed through, but once again, I'm fine with that because I'll be sanding them. I'm using a 120 grit sandpaper and I'm going to rough it up, sand it down, and um, it's going to be pretty distressed. I'm going to do the same thing with the blue, give it a pretty heavy distress. And on the little one, I'm just going to keep it white as is, so I didn't have to do my, uh, any painting on that one. When you sand chalk paint, 
you can see why it's called chalk paint. <laughs> it is very chalky. All right, so now on to making the holes on the top. One way that you can find the center on a square is by tracing a line from corner to corner, like an X, and then you'll be able to find the center where the lines connect. But in this case, I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna write on the board or on the block, so I'm just gonna eye out where the middle is on each block. And then I'm gonna use my drill and a very thick drill bit. Actually, it's the thickest one I have. And it was actually not even thick enough, so I had to go back and kinda whiten it. So I just used the same drill bit as you're gonna see here, and then you just kind of swivel it around to whiten it a little bit. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other two. This is the rope. I'm gonna use the same nautical rope that I used for the star as the firecracker string. Is that what it is? <laughs> Um, and I just making sure that it fit. So before I put the string on top, I'm going to wrap several times this jute twine from Dollar Tree. Just wanted a little something on them and just gonna make a very simple knot and cut the X's. And I'll do the same thing on all three. So remember those little stars that I removed from the tag on my first project? I'm going to uh, use three of them out of the four and I'm going to place them on the blue block and secure them with hot glue and I just thought it just gave them that extra little touch. And so now I'm just kind of kind of dry fitting it to make sure to see how long I want the strings to be. So I am going to cut three of them. I'm going to place hot glue in each hole and then place the rope in them and then we'll be all done. And there you have it. Look how cute these are. And I already had everything on hand. Um, obviously the blocks I had from all the way from Christmas, but how cool that I was able to reuse them. And I really love the look. So guys, this is it for today. As always, I am so grateful that you took the time to watch. I hope it inspires you to make some fun decor. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel yet. And if you're interested in watching how I decorate using these uh, decorations for my Independence Day decor. Check out my new channel, which the new video will come out this week. And that's it. Have a blessed day and uh, be safe out there.